Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited, you guys. Now, I really wanted to get a DIY in before I got in another haul. However, I just so happened to be by my nearest biggest Dollar Tree and I saw that there was a bunch of new fun things other than I found from my last haul video. So I just wanted to show them to you really quickly. So with all that being said, let's jump into today's video. Now, again, I'm not going to edit this. I got to pick up my kids really soon. And I just want to show you guys the items. So I don't want this to be a long haul. But I just couldn't wait to show you guys this stuff because that's how amazing it is. So anyway, I'm just going to grab it random. Um, I poured it all out here and let's go. So the first thing that I have never seen at Dollar Tree is these smaller wood rounds. Now, they do have the bigger wood rounds. Let me move back just a little. This is like an impromptu sitting right here on my bedroom floor um, video because I really should have been out in the shed organizing it today, but whatever. That's another story for another day. But um, I did find one of these. These are really hard to find these days, so I picked it up while I saw it but they have this home one and it's a smaller circle. Um, I picked up two of those and then I will pop it up on the screen. I believe they had one that said hello, but the O was messed up and there was only one, so I didn't wanna take it, but I will pop that up on the screen for you. And then the last one I found is this cute little rainbow one. I'm gonna put Sophia and Isabella at the bottom and I'm gonna paint this for them and make it look so cute because their room is kind of like a boho theme. So, so <laughs> I thought that this would be perfect for that. The next item I picked up, I, I think these are not new. I have seen these before plenty of times, um, but I have the ones, the older ones that have those star, a paw, or whatever screwed to the middle of it. So I did just pick up two just to have them without holes in them. Well, they have holes up here, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, so I know I look a little bit different, but when Scentbird reached out and wanted to work with me again, I was so excited. So if you've never heard of Scentbird, Scentbird is a monthly subscription where every single month you can try designer fragrances for only $16 a month. I also love the fact that you can skip a month if you don't have the funds or if you just don't wanna try a fragrance or you can also upgrade to get two to three fragrances per month. That way you can try more than one. I'm also really impressed with how much comes in a bottle because you get to try out these fragrances without having to spend a fortune on the entire bottle, especially not knowing if you like the fragrance or not. I don't know about you, but there is nothing worse than spending a ton on a fragrance that you think you're gonna like and wasting it because you end up not liking it. So this month I tried Confessions of a Rebel Love High, which have notes of peach nectar, orange flower, jasmine, sandalwood, and apple, and it smells delightful. I also tried Deck of Scarlet Power Suit. Now, last month I got Deck of Scarlet Scarlet, which is my favorite, but this one I also love as well. It has notes of cardamom, jasmine, orange flower, creamy sandalwood, and skin musk. And last but not least, I tried out Gucci Bloom, which has notes of Rangoon Creeper, Jasmine Bud, and Tuberose. And I feel like Gucci Bloom is my favorite this month, but I still love Deck of Scarlet by Scarlet. So as I mentioned, Scentbird has 600 scents to choose from, anywhere from Gucci to Prada, and any brands such as Vince Camuto and The Harmonist, and there's literally a scent for everyone. So the last thing I wanna touch on is how much comes in these little bottles. So you get eight times more than a traditional sample bottle, and I also love the fact that they are convenient. I can throw them in my purse, take them anywhere I go without having to lug around a huge bottle of perfume. 
So how do you get Scentbird? Click the link in the description box below. And at checkout, if you type the word Crafty Things 55, you will get 55% off your first order, which comes out to about $7 per bottle. Can you believe that discount? It's amazing. Don't miss out. Don't forget, type in the word Crafty Things 55 to get your 55% off today. Thank you again, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. Now these are what really impressed me. Um, these next few items is what made me say, I have to get on there and show them how amazing these are. Because somebody tried to tell me that Craft or that Dollar Tree is not paying attention to us, but I beg to differ. They are listening, they see our DIYs, they watch, and they go from there, is my opinion, because they're bringing out stuff like this. Are you kidding me right now? For a dollar twenty-five, it's really good size, and I love it. You could use either side if you wanted to. So you could have your chicken this way or this way, or you could do a project where I don't know. You make a sign and point them different ways. I don't know, but the point is you can use either side, and I think that this is. This is a good deal for $1.25. So I picked up two chickens. They have owls. Wow, you guys, like I'm super, super impressed. I know I keep saying that, but I just think it's really cool that they actually pay attention. They watch the trends, they see what we like, and they're trying to give us more stuff that, that we like. So I definitely can appreciate that. Let me know in the comments if you can appreciate that as well. Um, but anyway, the last one they had, as far as like farm animals, was the little piggy. How stinking cute. Can you imagine, right? You know, the classic stack. The classic stacking. Woo! Anyway, it's gonna be kind of hard, but um, I'm just envisioning like a sign. I don't know, you guys. I have a really good idea. Maybe that'll be my first DIY back. I don't know. But anyway, that's where I was, that's what I was thinking. But who knows? Sometimes when you get in your craft room, it ends up being something totally different than you had envisioned, right? So, anyway, um, moving along in that same little section where all this galvanized stuff was, um, they also have these new, bigger, laser-cut wood words. And so I picked up one pack of each. They have the love, they have the family and two laser cut words come in a pack. They had the believe. And they also had the home. Now the home is probably the only one I would use. However, they're good to have in your stash just to grab in case you need it for a project. You're not really sure what to put on it. You can just grab one of those words and it makes it look 10 times better. Okay, moving on to the new rub on transfers. I could not believe my eyes when I found these. Now, actually, let me start with the um, flexible stencil. Now, I'm not a big fan of stencils like this. Um, they're, they're just a little bit more tricky to work with. Um, you have to make sure you don't have too much in your, um, you know, pouncer and it's just kind of a pain. However, I thought it was really cute and again, something good to have in my stash. So anyway, picked up two of those. Now these I have never ever seen. I haven't seen anybody haul them. Now I don't really pay attention to hauls like that anyway, but... They are new rub on transfers. So stinking cute. Um, if you flip it around, it kind of gives you an example. So I thought that maybe like the brown paper stayed or something, um, but I uh, obviously that's not the case. I wasn't too sure until I looked in the back 
because I was like, wait a minute, how do they work? I've never seen those rubble and transfers before. But it's kind of like the um, graphite paper concept. So this is backwards. And then you just lay it down, rub it on, and huh. Look how cute that is. All the animals, the letters, the wreaths. So cute. So I picked up that one. Now, I'm not gonna have time to open all of these, um, but this one just has a bunch of different like shapes and objects. So I thought that would be fun for like my daughter, Sophia, she's six. I thought that that would be fun for her to do maybe. Maybe do a little project together. Um, now these are really cool. It's like the bee themed, which I'm not even really into, but I love the way that this looks. I only picked up one pack of all of these just because with $1.25 now, like all of these was almost 10 bucks. This one is just kind of like a saying. I can see accept the differences, um, family first, I think that says, but don't, no, that's not what it says. It says family something, but this has a whole bunch of wording. And then this one says wish, and I think it is, see this unicorn right here? I believe that's what this one is. It has a bunch of different flowery images. So um, this one has a bunch of sayings as well. And that is one of them. Um, okay, so that is it for the rub on transfers. Oh no, the rub on transfers that are on this brown sheet. I did find rub on transfers, the old style, and these are absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this is the first one I found farmhouse, coffee, flour, sugar, kitchen, recipes, welcome, greenery. <sighs> So pretty. Yeah, Dollar Tree's not paying attention, right? Right. Anyway, um, this one's even super cute. Of course, because it says farm, fr farm fresh flowers. <laughs> I also love this one. You are a wild, oh my gosh, per usual, your girl can't talk and I'm so sorry. You are a wild flower. It's kind of weird trying to read it backwards wash and dry, laundry service, and then you got your little tools. How stinking cute. Then last but not least on those, I picked up one of these. Welcome home, loads of fun, family is everything, love, peace, joy, happiness is homemade, and simply blessed, plus all this cute little greenery. And then I could have swore I picked up another, there is another style and I could have swore I grabbed it. Dang it. Oh well, better luck next time, right? <laughs> better luck next time, girlfriend. Okay, moving on, we're, we're pretty much down to the wire here. I also, I meant to mention in the beginning, I also have a few items from my local antique shop. I ended up just stopping in there because I was so excited. Um, so maybe if I have time, I'll show you those. Okay, so next is the fabric. I'm just gonna run through these really quick. Um, this one I don't need to open up, but y'all, seriously, absolutely amazing. And this is their like craft fabric. 
So one of those, this is the next one. And they're kind of hard to see like exactly what they're gonna be like, but you kind of get the gist just from the edges. Like I could tell it's, it's farmhouse. <gasps> oh my God, it's even better than I thought. Oh my gosh, y'all. Dollar Tree is doing the damn thing. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine? Okay, stick with me here. Look at this one, okay? This could be the front. This could be the back. You can make a pillow. You can make all kinds of stuff. Or this could be the front or back. And then this could be the front or back too. So anyway, I picked up one of these. I picked up one Buffalo check. Now this is new. It's more on like the gray side than it is the black side. They do, I have seen the like really, really solid black Buffalo check before, but I've never seen this like lighter version. And I've also never seen this I don't even know what you want to call it, but this kind of reminds me of nautical a bit. I mean, I think it could be, or I know it's definitely farmhouse too, but I think this could also go for nautical if um, you're into that, but I'm not really into nautical, you guys know, um, but I do know that a lot of people are. I don't know. If I get enough comments that you guys want me to do a nautical video, I can. It's just not my favorite. And last but not least on the fabric, I mean, come on. They just keep getting better and better. And I am just really thankful for that because for a while there, I was like, okay, Dollar Tree, like I'm sick of you. I'm sick of your stuff. And um, can you please give me something to be excited about? and they definitely delivered so oh wait one more fabric this one is super super cute now i again i'm not really into the bee themed but i can do a bee themed video for you guys if you want just let me know i'm so excited to get back into crafting i don't think you understand I've got the itch, y'all. I've got the itch so bad. It's like, oh, I've got to get back in my craft room. But then I go to Dollar Tree and get stuff to show y'all. So, so it's like this vicious cycle, right? But trust me, I'm getting back to it ASAP. So there's that. And I was thinking, like, look how gorgeous. This could be like a perfect combination for a project like make a sign, make a pillow or, or whatever, you know? So anyway, um, this is also brand new to Crafter Square. I have never seen these. I believe I have actually not, I don't believe. I know for a fact I have saw, I have seen smaller easels, but I've never seen one this size. It's really, really good size. Um, this is perfect for cookbooks. Um, if you want to display something and, and it just doesn't sit upright, so many things. Or if you're an actual artist, you can use this to paint canvases and whatever else. So I picked up just one of those. Um, now these items are not new, so I'll just run through them real quick. I got two of the wall tap with the six outlets in them. I picked up one bottle of the CraftWise chalkboard paint. <laughs> I picked up two packs of these O-Snap um, o Pickling Co. Dilly Bites. These are like two or three dollars in like a Royal Farms or whatever. So I felt that $1.25 per pack was a good deal. So I picked up two. I love pickles. Let me know. Do y'all like pickles or do you hate pickles? Um, now, these, I have, have you guys ever seen the McCormick brand of Tupperware? I have seen um, the, 
Betty Crocker brand, but I've never seen the McCormick and I did need Tupperware. So I picked up um, one pack of this size. This is the 3.4. I picked up um, one pack of these. It's the 3.79 and they're kind of like the longer ones. And then I picked up one pack of the two cup containers. Again, let me know, have you ever seen that brand of containers? I know I haven't at Dollar Tree. I don't think I've ever seen them anywhere. And then for, I'm just making sure, for the last of the Dollar Tree items, I picked up two, okay, so there's two in each pack. I picked up two of each set. Um, one says, life is a beautiful adventure. And the other one says, make today count because um, once a week on my Facebook and my Instagram, I'm gonna be doing um, giveaways for free ketones for people who share my stuff out. So if you wanna head over and follow me over there, um, that's what I picked up these for. And I would love to have you over there. It's all things crafty too on Instagram. And if you check the description box below in my link tree, you'll find my Facebook page as well. Please go to my personal Facebook page, not my other one, but if you can't find it, just send me a message on my um, all things crafty Facebook page and then I can, we'll go from there, so. Anyway, I'll send you the link to the other page. If I, I believe it's in the link tree and actually matter of fact, I'll add it. I'll just add it. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so for the last items from, like that was the last of the Dollar Tree items. This is the few things that I got from my local antique shop. Sorry, guys. I cut myself shaving and my ankle like itches. Anyway, so I picked up two, um, cotton picks they were on sale pick up two of those they're $2.99 I thought that was an amazing deal because I believe they're usually like three or four ninety nine so I only picked up two of those I also picked up this cotton wreath now I just got my order in from Shein and I love ordering greenery off of there. So I believe I got this pack of greenery for like two bucks from Shein. So my idea was to obviously tuck in some greenery around my wreath and then hang this above my stove on the cabinets. I thought that that would be really, really pretty. item is this gorgeous faux rusted watering can so so cute especially for farmhouse decor I mean you can either yeah you can either you can even put some greenery in here obviously you have to get it right you know but anyway the point is you can put like flowers, greenery, whatever in there. And the last, the next to last item I picked up was this half bucket, again, with that faux rusting. And you can either sit that on a, like, you know, entryway table or any table really um and put stuff in it or you can hang it up it has a little screw hole to hang that up against the wall um put whatever you want in there and this was this was $7.99, which I did not think was a bad deal. And then this one, this watering can was only 
I thought that was a good deal too. And then the last but not least item that I got from the thrift, or yeah, I keep wanting to say thrift store, from the antique shop is this, I really don't know what you want to call it, but I want to put my mail in here and my kitchen island is like a catch-all. It's driving me nuts and I have this like heart, I have like this heart um, container on there and it just looks horrible with all my farmhouse decor. So when I saw that this was on sale, originally $18.99, it was on sale for $10.99. I snatched that baby up real quick because it's really good quality. This is real wood. I just love it. I thought it was a good deal for 11 bucks, especially to kind of make all that stuff on the countertop look a little better. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me as much as I enjoyed hanging out with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. And with all that being said, you know, down in the comments, which item from today's haul was your favorite? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. With all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing. You are worthy. You can do anything you put your mind to. You're special. And I love you guys with all my heart and soul. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.